Hi, in this video we're going to try to solve this differential equation. So this differential equation should be separable. What that means is that we should be able to get all of the x's on one side with a dx and all of the y's on one side with a dy. So let's go ahead and start by just taking this and subtracting it over this way. So we have tangent of x, sine squared y, dy, dx, equals negative cosine squared x, cotangent y, dy. All right, so um, now we need to get only y's over here and only x's here. So I haven't done this yet, so let's see. Let's go ahead and divide by the uh, negative cosine squared and then divide by the sine squared y. So over here we'll have 10x over cosine squared x. And here we have a minus and then a dx. And that'll be equal to, here we're going to have um, cotangent y over um, sine squared y dy. So it's not clearly obvious to me, it's not like really, really obvious what to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write everything in terms of sine and cosine and then just see what happens, okay? So tangent is sine over cosine, okay? And then here we have 1 over cosine squared. So I'm going to write it like this. I'm going to write it like this. Sine over cosine times, okay, times uh, 1 over cosine squared, right? Because we're, we're dividing by cosine squared. Same thing as that. Just to make it easier, just so it's not like a fraction over a fraction, right? Because we're dividing by cosine squared, so I thought, let me write it as times 1 over cosine squared, just to make it easier for me to look at. Same thing here. Cotangent is cosine over sine, so I'm going to write it as cosine y over sine y times 1 over sine squared y dy. Okay, so now I see it. I do... So this is going to be multiplying across negative sine x. Cosine times cosine squared is cosine cubed dx. And this will be cosine y sine cubed y dy. A little, little bit harder than some of the other ones I was working on. Like, you know, this is a little bit more thought here. So we had to, you know, if you get here, I think a lot of people might, might get stuck maybe. Um, so whenever you don't know how to integrate it, um, if you don't, like, it doesn't really fit um, one of the familiar forms, if you're familiar with those. So one strategy is just go back to sine and cosine like I did here, and then now it's a little more clear. So here we'll let u be cosine. And then so du is going to be the derivative, which is negative sine x dx. Beautiful, right? And that's all right there. Look at that. Worked out perfectly. So that's going to be, um, this integral here will become du because right, that whole piece is du, and then the bottom is u cubed. Over here, I'll let w equal the sine of y. So then dw is simply cosine y dy, and so all of that is here. So this is going to be dw over w cubed. Really nice. We bring these upstairs now to integrate them. So this will be u to the negative 3 du. This will be w to the negative 3 dw. And when we integrate here, we simply use the power rule, right? We just add 1 to each of the exponents. This will be u to the negative 2 over negative 2 equals w to the negative 2 over negative 2. And then we'll add our constant of integration, capital C. All right, so I'm going to put these outside and write them as fractions. Um, or you know what, we can multiply everything by negative 2. Let's do that. Just if you multiply this by negative 2, put a negative 2 here, put a negative 2 here, and bring these down, you get 1 over u squared equals 1 over w squared. Uh, whoops, now put an equals there. And then minus 2c, let's call that k. So you just set k equal to minus 2c. Right? And then u was cosine. So this will be... 1 over cosine squared x equals, and then w is sine, so 1 over sine squared y plus k. And if you like, you can go to other functions. 1 over cosine is secant, so you can write the answer as secant squared x equals, and then 1 over sine is cosecant, so cosecant squared y plus k. Much prettier answer. Look at that. Very nice. What a fun problem. I enjoyed this one. This, this is a little bit more interesting than some of the others. Good luck.